and welcome back to another video and when I say good morning I literally mean good morning as in 6 30 good morning it's that early the sun is just rising over on the lake it is so so pretty but we're making our way to the train station we're just walking through the resort now because we're off to Venice for the day then this train goes at 7 30 otherwise then there's quite a big gap in between hence why we're going so early but we've got a day of shopping maybe a gondola ride have a nice meal in venice it's weird seeing the resort with no people in it about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living And just like that, we are in Venice It took about an hour and 20 on the train and when you get off at the train station in Venice, there's all the water taxis all lined up ready for you. I think they were about seven euros per person. But we just Google mapped it and apparently it's a 27 minute walk into the center, into St. Marcos Square. It's definitely worth walking the 27 minutes because you get to see all the little bits that you would never see if you had got on the water taxi. Eventually. And here we have the famous Rialto Bridge. To me, when I think of Rialto Bridge, I imagined it to be in the centre of Venice as you came in, but it's right in one of the back alleys. You've got to go through all the narrow streets and then you find Rialto Bridge. My image of R Rialto Bridge was you come through St. Marcus Square, you've got the whole bridge and it's all in the centre, but it's not. It's actually down the little narrow streets. The, you, Gethin's looking at the prices of restaurants. Is it expensive? Uh, no? Because it's on Rialto Bridge, it's not expensive. What's the prices? Let's have a look. I honestly thought it'd be expensive, but it's about the same as anywhere else. But there might be a car cover charge, look, two euro fifty. That's all. Can't come to Venice without going to the Disney shop. <laughs> We're gonna have to get a Christmas tree, there we are. They said they wanted the Lion King one this time. What do they got? They might have some. Here's the one you really trust. There. there it is, there. Oh, that's the one they wanted to get, wasn't it? That's a cute one. Is there any other ones they would like? Oh, look at this one. Baymax. That's a nice one, too. We did promise them that one, though, didn't we? I like that mark. How much is that? Fifteen. Someone's put their lips on it. <laughs> oh no, she didn't! Oh yes, she did! Nice. We couldn't go into the shop without buying anything. <laughs> we got a Christmas decoration and also one of their bags. You know my big swim bag that I have? I'll insert a picture in the side. But they had that on offer as well for 11 euros if you spent 15. So we picked one of them up and now we're in Champion trying to see if we can find anything for Tyler's Christmas present. And now we're getting to where the expensive shops are. I do want to get the Gucci belt but I don't know where that if I can justify 270 euros on a belt. No. <laughs> And here we are, St. Marco. Wow, wow, wow. So pretty. Where do we start, Geth? I don't know. I know. <laughs> You're hungry, are you? Should we go down the front first and just have a look at the cruise ships? We are just walking onto the main canal now through St. Marco's Square. I got a feeling a cruise ship has just come in or a few cruise ships have just come in because this area is very, very busy. This restaurant is beautiful. But they say don't eat in them because it's just it's 10 euros before you sit down in a chair cover charge per person. And plus you're paying for the orchestra as well on your bill. But it's a view and a half. This cafe 
here is 400 years old. When was it? 1720 it was built. FYI, a coffee is 12 euros. Say what? So pretty. The tea room. You can actually buy it to take home. Seven euros for the chocolate. So in 2020 it turns 300 years old. It says here. In 2020 it turns 300 years old. I wonder if it's more expensive to actually eat and drink in there. You can see all the all the artwork and all the authentic chairs. It's still more expensive. Yeah. Twelve euros it was for coffee. I don't know if there's a surcharge. Well, they're, they're, yeah, made coffee. Oh, they're made if coffee. It was any other coffee is even more expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want an americano or a cappuccino, it's like, it's 18, like twenty. It's like 18 oh, it was eighteen euros. They told us when we came here last time that San Marco Tower actually collapsed. I think it was due to a storm, and they rebuilt it brick by brick, all the way back up again. And Gethin's just told us now, apparently, you're not allowed to sit in St. Marcos Square either. It's, you get fined or something. Sit on a chair or like a car. Oh, yeah. Before. How about we get our picnic basket out and just have a picnic in St. Marcos Square? <laughs> If I was to come and stay in Venice, this would be the hotel I would go to. Right here. St. Marco Square is literally just in there. But look at that. What a view. We're going very Italian for our dinner. We've had so much pasta, so much pizza the last week, though we fancy a burger. So we stopped in the car drop, which is literally just by St. Marco Square. Are you here on holiday? Yeah. We've been a week today and we got one more week. Ah. Yeah. Amazing, thank you. Enjoy your thank you so much. We got a um, uh, cracking view, yeah? What you have, what you have. Ooh, nachos. Yum. What's the mass? Prices are just the same anywhere else. And I have fajitas. You're going for a burger? Bacon. Which one? Barbecue bacon cheese. You don't like cheese? I don't cheese. I can't get over the queue. You see, look at that queue though. More gondolas. are ranging from 80 to 100 euros for a 15 minute ride. Gethin has actually put his foot down and has refused to pay it. He's being stubborn, he's saying there's no way he's paying the 80 euros just to go on a boat for 15 minutes. I did say, why don't we just grab people in the queue? Because if six of you go in it, it's only 80 euros per gondola. It's only 80 euros for the two of you. So try and grab some people and get as many as you can in that gondola to save you some euros. I just took Ethan into the Basilica, but unfortunately you weren't allowed to film or take any pictures in there. But um, if you do want to see what one looks like, I did film it in Milan, so just go back a couple of vlogs and you'll see it in there. But it's definitely worth the trip. They don't charge you, you just got to have your shoulders and your knees covered, and you're not allowed to take any backpacks in either. But it's definitely, the artwork in there is phenomenal. So if you're ever in Italy, definitely go in one, you'll be super impressed. Can we go on a gondola now? Please? Oh, come on! Still not budging. 
databases. <laughs> That's clever, isn't it? Look at that one. <laughs> the boys would love one of them. No one's eaten in there today, Gare. Do you remember how expensive it was when we looked at the menu last time? I like all the, I like these ones, the gold ones. Pretty, aren't they? I don't get the ones with the big beaks on them. I think they're really pretty. Yeah, this shop is everywhere. It must be a famous sweet shop. Oh, look at these. They're macaroons. Should we go see the prices? Everyone seems to be buying it. It's probably 10 euros for one, is it? Carter would be in his element. Look at the big eggs. Gummies. I bet it's expensive as hell. Yeah. Oh, licorice. Yeah, that sweet shop was expensive. They said one licorice was two euros. So can you imagine they had big, big bags? Can you imagine filling one of them bags up? They would come to at least 60 euros, I'm telling you. Well, that's us done. We are shopped out. We have been through every back street of Venice possible. We've been all over. Yeah, I've got to be honest, this place has every shop you can imagine. It has got your Primark or your new looks, but it's got your Louis Vuitton, your Versace, your Gucci, any shop you can imagine. It is here. But now we're going to grab a train back to Verona and then Verona back to Peschiera. Gonna go see what the boys have been up to. I bet their grandparents have spoiled them rotten. Peschiera is a bit busier than this morning. This gear is slightly bit busier than this morning. We were the only people walking this promenade. So the train took about an hour and a half to get back. We were so lucky when we got to Verona that the train was right there. So we jumped straight on. So all in all it's taken an hour and 45 minutes to get back. And now we're walking back to the hotel with a nice refreshing gelato. I wonder what the boys have been up to, but my legs. I think when we were sitting outside Venice on the front in St. Marco Square, my legs have got bitten alive. I am covered in mosquito bites. First thing I'm going to do when I get back is put some cream on them because they're itching like hell. We saw the sunrise. I wonder if we'll see the sunset. It will set over there in the distance. Still quite busy on the lake. Home sweet home. Hey! How are you? Yeah. That's a wrap guys. I am super super exhausted. We have walked from the hotel to the train station, from the train station to the trains, the trains around Venice and all the way back again and my feet have got now heartbeats. I am going to go find some cream to put on these mosquito bites because they are itching like mad. The only thing around here is the mosquitoes because of the water that we're around. There's absolutely loads of them. But I am going to go now and pour myself a nice cold glass of wine and I'm going to have a shower to cool down because I am absolutely roasting. But we've got so many more Italy vlogs on its way. We've got Gardaland, we're going to go to Simeone, we're going to go on the ferry up to the top of the lake. So if this is something that you would like to see, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell for post notifications. See you in my next video guys. Bye.